going on YouTube uh, well project Monaco is finished and I finally got the paint polished out all the details added and I assembled it up and uh, it went pretty good for my first try on this one um, cars a lot of fun I tried a new uh, way to even out those seats that I was talking about ended up being okay probably could have sanded it a little bit more but I think the paint was great and uh, painting a metal car body is a lot of fun um, paint <clears throat> seems to work a little bit better sometimes than even with plastic um, but yeah took it apart even polished the windows did the trim and uh, I got it on my lift and we're about to roll it out and let's take a look at it uh, and we'll take a look at the lift too that's something I got from Greenlight a while ago and so 118 scale lift that's fully functional pretty much and I uh, will take a look at that later so without further ado let's back her off um, great fun experience with this one didn't really um, drive me too crazy doing it getting at some of the details I wanted to get on there I, I think I did it and um, painted it this that gold looks very very nice on this car um, of course I did the silver bumper fillers and came with the plates because this was the release uh, basically this was the Terminator car and I think it turned out very nicely very very nicely um, kept the wheels black thought that looked good for now uh, you can see the silver trim just love it looks great very very nice I think it turned out good We'll just do a little walk around on it. Put the silver trim in on the door lid. I think that adds a little bit of more dimension to it. You can see there. Also put the trim on the glass too, so it's a chrome strip now with the bare metal foil. Paint shines up good. Paint shined up pretty good for me. I didn't want to buff it out too much like a show car. Uh, these cars were abused as soon as they got it. people start driving up so I think I the only thing I got to add to it is I'm gonna put some lights on the on the package shelf like I was talking about earlier and I'll construct those I actually have some model kit uh, 32 Ford headlight buckets with some really nice lenses and they look very good very close to what uh, they would use back then for for lighting so yeah, those will be colored and put in later. We'll probably do a little look see um, eventually. I think that, I mean I really like the way the color looks. It looks very 70s. It's more butterscotch in person than it is on camera. Um, yeah, maybe I could take a picture of it outside or something. But I did the trim all around there. All the stuff got put back on. These are all separate from the factory. Did the sill plate there. So that turned out very nicely. And uh, as you can see, the seats don't have the pleating on them anymore. And I think that looks a lot more realistic in terms of a car that's going to be a fleet used car. Really didn't have too much of a fabric pattern on these cars. It was pretty simple. Did the black floor on this one. I think that looked a little bit better flat black did the whole trim on the dash I painted it and uh, just did some um, just cut out some of the gauges there and uh, put those in I think that looked pretty good you can see recolored door panels made them that sand color a little bit lighter color Let's see if I can get some I contrasted the darker dashboard I see it better in here. This got a little dirty here because pushing that in, I just got to touch that up. Um, pushing this in, that rubs on the seat. So that'll get cleaned off. Almost looks like a, a real stain. There's the radio. Haven't hooked up a mic yet to it, but the coiled up. So this is how it is extended. I might pull off an antenna uh, trim for this car. To finish it off off another one but uh, yeah there she is and uh, the other thing 
forgot to mention. So it, my idea for shimming the, the chassis worked. I used about a millimeter of a shim, and I went around uh, all four of the holes and basically went through it, uh, used my punch set, open hole punch set, and uh, went on the vise and tapped off some holes, and then I drilled through and uh, work like a charm sits right in the pads that those posts go to that you screw the car into perfectly so I raised the whole car by a millimeter and I think it looks a lot better um, I think the next car to be taken down and repainted would be this one and you could see if you have a good eye you could see the other ones just a little bit higher and I think that looks better a lot of period photos back then these cars sat low but uh, I like the way that looks looks more appropriate on a scale car anyway I like the way that it sits better when you look at it so I don't know it's up in the air I think I like it looks more tough police car police package car so very happy that this turned out so I'll park it next to the uh, the Plymouth here and we'll take a look at this lift real quick so I think that um, I think that looks pretty good. There's a little small fleet. I got more of a behind it. But I can't wait. I do have a 75 Fury um, that I picked up with this one that I redid. And I'm thinking about maybe doing a um, Fire Chief car or something like that. I like the way those 70s Fire Chief cars look very nice. Um, a lot of them have black interiors, but I might do a red interior to match it. And maybe do like a white top on the car. Red. Just don't know what agency to replicate. So that's going around the head right now. But let's look at this thing. This is really cool. I have cars on it now on my shelf, but I took it down for the reveal. And uh, it's really cool. It's got the Dodge um, licensing on it, which I like. The older school Dodge that you'd see 70s, 80s, basically. And um, it's got the pump on there. <laughs> And it is adjustable, so and that's actually very adjustable. You can do every D10 all the way up. Um, and I have these flipped around because this car, it won't clear this, but the the jack stands here, like on the real left, this will this flips around, and you can see there it's got a fixed height. Well, this is good. You know, you can have a lift like this, and then you have the center section that'll lift the car chassis off this, so you can start you know using the suspension uh working on that with the wheels off the ground instead of just doing like alignments and uh general maintenance under the chassis so this is a very versatile lift some would say maybe a little bit safer because the car is not hanging up in the air and of course it's good for storage in real life you can park a car underneath of it uh, as well so but that yeah just works like that you basically flip it over and you'll see there's tracks in there and you just these are spring loaded look at that they just spring load like that and they slip in there you just basically throw it in like that and it snaps in so that's it reversed and really you could park a car in there so it'll hold up the chassis off the wheels off the ground if you want to display it that way and then the other way to move up the up and down part is um, all you have to do is just hold these guys up and you get the idea it just goes through so push it up like that and just basically I'll just try to show it on camera it's a little awkward just move it up like that and you can set it wherever you want um, of course that's how you get it on the bottom rung is the ward you get the piece on so I'll show you that too just basically snap it in like that but I did get it because of the, the graphics it will go go with all my Mopars um, so very excited about that and it's metal metal um, just the, the accessory pieces are plastic but this is metal and so is the whole thing and these as you move the lift up and you need it the ramps are movable too so very nice about that so there it is 77 project monaco completed for now got a couple little ancillary items and for people interested in purchasing the lift here's the information this is what it looks like 
they've done a number of these if you're not vehicle specific you can get a generic one I think it comes in black and blue there's all the different things you can do with it there's the UPC code green light adjustable for a poster yeah so we took a look real short video today I got more cars coming in um, yes we are gonna do the auto world I just ordered them I had to um, again heavy scalping around here with the auto world sometimes uh, I was able to complete the set this time but I'm not gonna roll the dice with the you know the current release I got the wagons and everything I wanted but uh, those trucks are gonna be hard you know with my uh, difficulty finding the AutoZone C10s <laughs> around this area. There's a lot. There's plenty of AutoZones here. Um, I figure that the C10 coming out next is going to be hard. So I ordered a couple. I didn't get the lowrider ones yet. I just got the stock ones, of course. That's what I like the most. And uh, we'll look at those very soon. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. And thanks for subscribing. We're close to 500. So that's all due to you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time.